morning everyone, this is Camilla and welcome to Unfilter. And today I'm going to hang out with my close friend Lilimar. And right now we're just waiting for her to come in. We're gonna hang out, let's go. Grove, I think, is a little more like Banana Republic, wealthy women in their 30s type of vibe. This is more like semi wealthy teenagers semi type of vibe. Do you collect what? Uh, Coca Cola bottles. Coca Cola? But like the ones that are like, the ones that are different. You know what I mean? It has a cute little design on it. Something you've never seen before. Yes. Boom. Mm. Throw it in there. The rest I just drink up because I'm addicted. So. Yeah, she is. <laughs> she can't live without Coke. No coffee present, then there's definitely Coke. I saw a woman with a shirt that says best mom ever. Oh. I love my mom. I appreciate your mama. It's Mother's Day every day, boo. It's Mother's Day. Every I don't even day. Ooh. Not that far, Vera. Not that far. I feel like I'm in New York. I miss New York. This is nice. There's a McDonald's. Hi McDonald's. Is somebody sponsored by McDonald's? Yes, I am working with them currently. They're um doing this uh, national like scholarship program called Aser. That's I hope. A lot of people do it and a lot of kids get scholarships because y'all deserve it. I'll just one vlog. Do whatever, be yourself. You know, Lily's fans wants to know about more about Lily. Lima! So for those of you who don't know who Lilimar is, she's an actress. Um, I'm currently in an Adam Sandler film. For Halloween, I think it's coming out uh, next Halloween. Please look out for it. Please, if you can't support it, that'd be really nice. I'm excited for that to come out. I was the only one thinking that we make it. What is it like to be a child actor? At its time, it was really, really funny. You're constantly doing things that you didn't think you would you would have to do. You know, work with a cow on set. <laughs> The yeah, cow. you work with all sorts of animals. Um, it was really fun. It was definitely what I wanted to be doing at that time. And especially since I grew up watching Nickelodeon and Disney, then it was like a dream come true being like a Nick kid and stuff like that. It never really felt too limiting or like for me. Like I had a really good experience doing it. So. And how old were you when you first started? Uh, about 13. 13 until around 18. This kind of I worked for them. That's so fun. I was trying to think what I was doing. <laughs> when you were 13, I'm like, where, where hopefully, was I? Hopefully studying. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. I'm like not used to Chanyeol with like mint hair. I need to like not look at them. Boom! The heck? <laughs> it's just that? that easy. Okay, Lily, what would you say to your younger self? I feel like my younger self was really, really happy. She was very, very confident. I wish when I was younger I could understand that more and how important it was so I could thank my mom and my grandma and my dad a lot for that, for the confidence and the trust that they gave me because I felt like I had a really, really happy childhood. So I definitely look back at my childhood and my younger self with a lot of like heartfelt sentiment, with a lot of happiness. People outside of the industry, they have a stereotypical idea about this industry. Oh, if she's an actress, she must be in a certain way. Must yeah. be so rich. They can get whatever they want. I feel like a lot of people generalize the whole industry and they see one aspect of it and it, they feel like everybody's the same. What's actually going on? Uh, <laughs> there's like this the preconceived notion of like it's not just for actors or singers or anyone in the industry. I think it just goes more towards anyone who seems to look like they have a lavish lifestyle. And while they do have everything they want material wise, a lot of the times they just lack so much love and so much security with it. People around them and themselves, that's just really, really sad. The suicide rate, but wait, she had a perfect life, or he had a perfect life. They're like, oh, they got, they're in a bunch of movies and stuff like that, but then you see their day-to-day -day life and you're just like, you know, they really don't have any connection with their parents. They don't have friends that actually care about them. But maybe the job that they have is not actually what they want to do and they're forced to be into it. A lot of times people don't give them that um, sense of understanding. Even if you see an actor and they got a lot of movies going on or they got a lot of TV shows, that doesn't actually mean they're well off either. I've obviously been very, very 
blessed in this life and I have so many blessings like one is my family that they yeah. support me in everything I do and they care about yeah. me other thing is I have great friends like you guys that are like with me and coming to hang and like genuinely care about me as a person how mm -hmm. I'm doing you know and I made a job out of what I love to do not mm -hmm. a lot of people get to do that even though I have all that you know I don't have for example a super great car I don't live in a mansion I could barely afford LA Ram because that shit is expensive there is a lot of struggle and it's not as cute and as perfect as people make it seem to be and they don't even understand that acting for example it's a place of work you go every day to set and you bust your ass there's for so many hours sometimes you got to show up at 2 a.m. and work until the next day or sometimes if some at somebody's late we're waiting for the director to come in like then you sometimes you have to work with people that are not exactly the greatest and yeah. you hate seeing them every day but you have to deal with it and then a lot of the times you if I maybe if you have a big following stuff like you have to deal with people putting in their opinions with everything they do, who you're hanging out with, what you what you wear, what you do, and not a lot of people have the security and the self-esteem to handle that. There's a lot of elements that come with the lifestyle, that come with the work. I think for me, I've been able to handle it just because I genuinely love it. But for other people, this industry eats you up. It's not for everyone. And I think more people need to try in a way to understand that. So what's one meaningful message that you want to deliver today to your audience? I think mainly self-esteem. I think everything that's literally wrong with the world and everything bad that we do literally just comes from insecurities and lack of self-esteem. The more we pay attention to loving ourselves, no matter how cliche that sounds, but it's true, to loving who we are, what we look like, what we do, and finding what we want to do in life, what makes us happy, what makes us feel passionate, what makes us want to actually get up every day in the morning. I think that's extremely important and that's going to show like the way we treat people, the way we treat ourselves. her as a person, as a great friend, because she's so real. Just like what she said about loving yourself, I think it's so important because nowadays, you know, a lot of people are struggling with low self-esteem. And to be honest, I struggle with that all the time too. But just keep in mind uh, that we are all human. We all feel a ton of feelings every day, but we have to embrace ourselves. You know, love yourself, care for ourselves, inside and out. Wherever you are in your life, no matter you are in the industry or outside of the industry, we are all human. We all have our own stories to tell. You know who you are. Just try to be understanding. There's a lot going on in the industry. There's a lot going on in each and every one of our lives. You know, so sometimes we just need to sit down and listen to a person to talk about their life, their story, and try to understand what's actually going on. I'm Camilla, and this is Unfiltered. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned!